everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce you the third movement from the 32 movements Tai Chi Sword. We'll start from the end posture of the second movement and give you the step-by-step -step instruction for the movement three. And then we'll connect movement one to three together. Starting from the ending posture of movement two, Stand on one leg and thrust reversely. I divided the next movement into two steps, still per the footworks. I'll introduce the footwork first. From standing on one leg, first step, stepping backward into a bow stance. To do this footwork smoothly, we have to divide this step into sub-steps. Standing on one leg. Drop down your left foot to about your ankle level and then step it backward, diagonally to your left rear. Basically, you are forming a bow stance. When you drop down your foot, Placing the toes first, then pressing down the heel. That's the footwork for first step. We'll add a hand movement to it. As you drop down your foot, stepping it back, bring the hand holding the sword downward, like you are chopping something in front of you, right side. Arms, sword, aligned. We'll transit into the second step. Keep crouching on your right leg. Lower your hand, lower your wrist. And then rotate the right wrist to make the sword parallel to the ground. Now you are forming a crouching stance. We are going to sweep in the sword in crouching stance. That's the second process of this movement. While we are doing so, we are turning our body. While we are turning our body, turning the left toes outward and then turning the right toes inward while you're shifting your weight from your right leg to the left leg. Let's do the second process together. From chopping, lower your hand, rotate your wrist, turning the body, turning the foot, sweeping, ending in a side bow stance. Left sword finger, from chopping, moving closer to your body, goes along your body, make a turn, finger pointing downward. While you're swiping, left sword finger curls up, ending over your left head. Now we are connecting the two process together. From stand on one leg, thrust reversely. Step back and chop. Rotate your waist, sweeping in crouching stance. Now we finish the moment three from this sword routine. I will demonstrate it in a back view. From stand on one leg, thrust reversely. Step back and chop. Crouching stance. Sweep the sword. Ending with the sword about your lower rib level. Okay, next we're going to connect the movement one, two, and three together. Front view first. Starting from the readiness posture.
openness. Push third finger in both hands. Tend arms in half sitting stance. Switch sword in both stance. Point sword in feet together stance. Moment two. Stand on one leg, thrust reversely. Moment three, sweep sword in crouching stance. I'll make a back view. Readiness posture. Push third finger in both stands. Extend arms in half sitting stance. Grab sword in both stands. Point sword with feet together stance. Step back and draw sword. Take back left foot. Stand on one leg and thrust. Step back, chop. Sweep sword in crouching stance. Open this. Push third finger in both stands. Tend arms in half sitting stance. Switch sword in both stands. Point sword in feet together stance. Moment two. Stand on one leg, thrust reversely. Moment three, sweep sword in crouching stance. I'll make a back view. Readiness posture. Push third finger in both stands. Extend arms in half sitting stance. Grab sword in both stands. Point sword with feet together stance. Step back and draw sword. Take back left foot. Stand on one leg and thrust. Step back, chop. Sweep sword in crouching stance. 